Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing three new fragrances that have been recently released. And these are all from the Marc Jacobs Daisy line. So this is the new line that was released and it is the Skies collection. So I am going to be giving you my thoughts on all three of them. So before I get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I am so, so happy to have you here and I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's go ahead and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys. So, as you guys know, my birthday recently passed. And with the new year, I have been seeing so many new releases of fragrances on Sephora's website. And I was just scrolling one day. And what do I see? I see three new fragrances from Marc Jacobs. And did I need this? No. Did I know that this was going to be released? No. Did I add to cart like a maniac and check out so that I can do this review for my girls? Yes. So I got all three of them. At first I only picked up two and then my mom, she sent me some birthday money. So then I was doing a little bit of shopping and I was like, you know what? Let me just add the third one so that I can do this review. And if I don't like any of them, I can always take them back since Sephora's uh, exchange and return policy is so flexible and right off the bat before I even get started one of them is going back for sure but let's go ahead and let's get into it so I'm going to start with the original Daisy by Marc Jacobs and this is the skies so here is the beautiful baby blue packaging for this collection it just looks very appropriate for spring and I remember last year they had like a green packaging, which was so beautiful, but I did try the uh, Love, the Daisy Love. I don't remember what it was called, but it was in green packaging and it smelled like freshly cut grass. It was way too green for me. So this one seems more aquatic, more fresh, and I feel like it was going to fit me a little bit better. So I'm going to show you the first bottle which is right here beautiful this is the 1.6 fluid ounce bottle and i think that the packaging is just so beautiful the blue is like a see-through blue very aquatic looking it just gives very aquatic vibes all right so the main accords for this one are mineral aquatic powdery woody marine musky zonic aromatic warm spicy and floral the top notes are mineral notes violet leaves and quince middle notes are lotus violet and jasmine and the base notes are seaweed sandalwood and musk so it sounds really those are just some unique notes the only other daisy that i have is the daisy also intense so i feel like if you already own also oh intense it's not a must-have just imagine this one is like very prominent with the strawberries and a little bit of honey but it still has that daisy dna just like all the other ones do so i would say that this one definitely has that dna in there so if you love daisies you're going to love this one I feel like very deep into the dry down is where I started to really get those mineral aquatic notes in this one. It dries down very just refreshing, aquatic, very appropriate for spring season. This is beautiful for that. And this one, the longevity of this one, I would say was pretty good. It just reminds me a lot of the other Daisy that I own. So I was kind of going back and forth. Should I keep this one in my collection? Is it necessary? But 
I do really like the dry down of this one when I was smelling all of them. This one just smelled very easygoing, very aquatic, mineral, very comforting and zen type of fragrance. I love those types of fragrances for every day for when I'm not sure what I want to wear. It's really girly, very easy, crowd-pleasing fragrance. It's not going to offend anyone. Marc Jacobs is usually that way with his fragrances. They're usually very crowd-pleasing, just pretty, not overly complex. And I feel like I like having those options in my collection because I don't need all of my fragrances to be beast mode. I don't need all of my fragrances to be super complicated i there's days that i just love to reach for a fragrance and it's just simple and pretty and that's what mark jacobs is all about so this one dries into a very girly aquatic version of daisy so if you have smelled daisy before very very similar as soon as you spray it you're going to just think oh this is very similar to daisy's dna so it is a very nicely done flanker because you still get that original DNA and then it has those aquatic type of vibe to it. And I do pick up Violet in this one, but it doesn't bother me because Violet can be a note that it can really be too much for me, too sharp, too loud. So the Violet in here is done really nice. So my thoughts for this one is if you already have a big bottle of Daisy, I don't think that this is one that you need to rush out and get. But of course, if you're a person who likes to collect the daisies, I feel like this one is a really, really nice interpretation of Daisy. And if you don't own any daisies and you like aquatic mineral type of fragrances, this is really, really nice and is going to be perfect for upcoming spring. I really, really like the dry down of this because that daisy DNA kind of calms down and I can appreciate the mineral notes that this one has. I really, really like it. So now I'm going to move on to Daisy Love. So here is the packaging for this one. And this one is also 1.6 fluid ounces. And I really, just like the blue color of these bottles they're just gorgeous you guys and scent wise this one was my favorite but before i get into it i'm gonna go ahead and read the main accords for you guys daisy love skies is a mossy fruity salty earthy sweet amber marine musky woody and vanilla fragrance and the top notes are salt raspberry cloudberry middle notes are ambrette whipped cream and daisy and the base notes are moss amber and white woods when i sprayed this i was immediately in love with this fragrance it It smells a lot like Daisy Love, so if you have ever owned Daisy Love, this also has a similarity to it. But the sweetness that this fragrance has, the whipped cream, the raspberry, it's beautiful. And then that saltiness in the opening, it's there right in the opening, mixing in with the sweetness and the creamy feel from the whipped cream. And it has, this is, this is gorgeous. The mixture of the moss. You, you pick up the mossy notes in there. You pick up the salt, but then you have the raspberry and the whipped cream giving it this super sweet scent. I fell in love with this. I fell in love with this. And it's just super girly, super sweet, easy to wear every day to go out. It's so good. And then you also get a little bit of that woods in there. This one is definitely my favorite out of the three. But when it comes to longevity, it is the weakest. So that's kind of what made me a little bit sad with this one is that I know that I'm going to have to reapply this one a whole lot. And I'm probably going to go through it super fast because 
Recently, I went through an entire Daisy Love, and for me to have empty bottles, I have a big collection, so it's not something that happens all the time. So when I go through a perfume, it's either I loved it a lot or it just doesn't last long and I'm spraying a crazy amount of the fragrance. So if you do like this one, just know that you're going to need to overspray and you're probably going to have to reapply it after three hours. It's already pretty much a skin scent, but I just wanted to have another Daisy Love in my collection because I loved my Daisy Love and I recently ran out of it, so I just love it. It's just an easy grab, but it's not long lasting. So I do have to give you that warning because that beautiful intoxicating like burst that I get, I wish it lasted much longer because it doesn't. But it's such a pretty scent beautiful and they did add to daisy love so you're not just going to get another daisy love it's daisy love dna but that's salty the mossy it's very very nicely done sweet so yeah that one is beautiful as well so scent wise my favorite out of the three and then now let's go ahead and let's move on to the last one, which is Daisy Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh. I have never owned any of the Oh So Fresh fragrances from them, um, not even the original one. I have tried a sample of it and it was just a really pretty scent, but not one that I felt like I needed it in my collection. So this one is the biggest bottle all of, out of all of them. This one is 2.5 fluid ounces, and here is the packaging for this one. And here is the bottle. Beautiful yellow and blue flowers. And this one is my least favorite, and this is the one that I am going to be taking back. So I'm gonna give you that right from the get-go. So the main accords for this one are woody, sweet, fruity, powdery, herbal, aromatic, green, musky, yellow floral, and camphor. The top notes are gooseberry, tea, and grapefruit. Middle notes are chamomile, broom, and violet, and the base notes are cedar, musk, and tea tree oil. This one, way too much violet for me. That's pretty much the only thing that I get from this one is very strong, heady, sharp violet. If you love violet, you're going to love this. This reminds me a lot of, was it Guerlain's Instruments? Um, I decluttered that fragrance the minute that I got it into my collection. It was not for me. Anything with too much violet just reminds me of like those baby colognes that are made with violet. It just gives me a headache. It's too sharp. It's too loud for me. I mean, it's a very pretty scent and I can see how a lot of people can actually really like this one. And for spring, it is you know, basically what you look for in a spring fragrance, but it's not for me. It's, I can't do it. And in, this one was the longest lasting one. So this one lasted hours on my skin. And when I got to the point of it being the complete dry down after maybe like two, three hours of wearing it, it became a really pretty scent that I enjoyed, but I am not willing to go through those first two, three hours of that violet screaming out to get to that pretty face. Like, I can't do it. I know that this will give me a headache. I know that it will probably make me sick. Um, if it's already strong when I spray it just on my hand, I can imagine once I spray it everywhere that I'm just going to feel suffocated by it and I'm just going to want to wash it off. So really strong um i saw that it was described as woody so i kind of that's what made me go ahead and get it because i do love woody fragrances but i just get violet so if you do not like violet i don't recommend this one it's just a violet bomb and i am going to be taking this one back so 
yeah, that is my review on all three of these. The Daisy Love just stole my heart. It is beautiful. When I sprayed it, when I first got it, I knew right away that I was going to love this one. Just have to warn you guys, not long lasting at all. But if you just want like an everyday pretty scent and you don't mind reapplying, this is gorgeous. And this one, I'm going to keep because I love right now, after talking to you guys about 10 minutes, the dry down of this one is everything. If you want like that mineral, kind of like how Alien Mirage gives you that mineral, like airy, almost like humid type of feel, I feel like this is what that is when it dries down. So when it first opens up, it's going to remind you a lot of Daisy. So it's going to have that DNA, but in the dry down, really pretty aquatic mineral type of scent. So these two are going to be staying in my collection and you're going to be seeing more of these this upcoming spring. And Daisy also fresh is going back this weekend. So that is going to be it for this review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Have any of you guys already tried these? Let me know what you think about them in the comments section. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Cause I gotta say, I'm looking